So, you know, no one else was really doing anything. And, you know, I told her, hey, get out there and go shoot the basketball. And uh, to her credit, she did a great job, got a couple of assists, hit some shots, and was uh, really the only one being aggressive and looking to shoot. So she gave you a little more time? We'll see. I mean, you know, it just depends. I mean, I've got a ton of guards. I've got a ton of posts. And it depends on who's playing well in the game. It really does. Uh, we just didn't play well. I credit New Mexico State. They played exceptionally well and took us out of what we wanted to do. And, um, you know, we, we watched film and, and, and addressed what we needed to do better. Yeah. Is that from what you've seen of the Sac State? Is that anomaly? No. No. It, it's, they just, that's what the way they play. It's it's chaos. It's it's helter skelter. It's we're gonna shoot more threes than you shoot twos. Um, it's the old Loyola Marymount system. It, it really is, and and they want to put up the ball as quick as they can. They crash the boards really really hard and well, and uh, that's that's what they want to do. And they want to create havoc. They're gonna trap in the half court. They're gonna double team. They're gonna leave you open. They're gonna give you layups, and they're gonna go back down and shoot threes. <laughs> It is. It really is because you don't see it. We'll see it twice a year, t tomorrow night or tomorrow, and then San Jose State. You know, and, and uh, that's the way those two teams have played for, for a long time. But it is hard to prepare, and our practice guys did a good job of doing that. But it, it is hard. It really is. Well, we just got to be calm. I mean, we, we, we can't get rushed and, and can't be rushed into shots. Um, we got to make sure we don't turn the ball over and their pressure. Uh, we turned the ball over too many times against New Mexico State, I thought. And, uh, you know, we got to make shots and make layups. Coach, this weekend, uh, I know it's an important date, the, the 9 p.m. 7 game, which is something that's important to the state as well. Can you just kind of talk about being able to participate in that and what it means to, to the program and the state? Well, you know, we've got, a, uh, I believe it's 28 uh, reservations throughout the state of New Mexico. Um, we've got a handful that, you know, centers around Albuquerque. And it's great that Nota Be Gay would have a cause as childhood obesity. And for us to help his cause and to wear the turquoise uniforms and to create awareness for the N7, I think it's a terrific cause. Well, uh, I think she's still a ways away, so uh, she won't start tomorrow. But, uh, you know, she might get some playing time. She's, she's looking a little bit better, a little bit better. I needed someone to play a little bit better. <laughs> I mean, that was the bottom line. And, and, you know, they just didn't have a great game. I mean, I know they're good point guards, and I know they'll be fine. But uh, it was more on the defensive end, quite frankly, than it was offensively. I, I didn't think our guards played very good defense. You know, and it has to start with your point guard. And I needed players to go in there and play defense. And we just didn't do a very good job on the defensive end. You know, it was, uh, like I said, it was a disaster. It, it, we, we just really uh, came out flat. Um, we, uh, we worked on everything that they did, and it just seemed that we rushed shots, uh, we rushed passes, uh, we didn't take care of the ball during their press, and I was just really disappointed how we played defensively. I really was, and I think, uh, you know, we have to adjust to how the game's being called. That's how it's been called the last two or three years, especially in the beginning. And, uh, you know, we have too many fouls, and, and you know, we've, we've got to make free throws. Um, but I, I was more concerned. I mean, offensively, we're going to be fine. 
We've got players that can score the ball. You know, mistakes are going to happen, and, and, and I get that. But defensively, there was no excuse. And uh, we, we just were very, very poor defensively, and we have to get better. Coach, you got a veteran roster. You had some facing adversity early in the season last year. Is that something that you can – that helps this team, that knowing that they you know, faced a little adversity earlier last year and the way they turned it on and moved through that? Well, I, you know, I don't want to compare teams. Last year was last year, and that's over. Um, we've played two games. <laughs> so, uh, you know, there, there's teams across the country that are 0-2 and 0-3 and, 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 and very good teams. Um, we've got to get better. And that's that's what our goal is. And you know, New Mexico State's an NCAA tournament team. You know, they're they're a team that's going to probably win the WAC again. So that's not a team that's not, you know, a bad team. And it's a good RPI game for us. Um, but we've just got to get better. What have you done this week to clean some of that up? Well, you know, I addressed some things that I think needed to be addressed, and I'm not going to go into detail with that. But uh, I think that really helped our team and our program. I, I had to address some things that I thought weren't going well. And, and, and again, I think it um, it showed on the defensive end. Uh, our practice guys really came in and helped us out in terms of how they play the game, how their style is, um, what they do. And it's hard to prepare for, but that's what we had to do. Our kids watched a lot of film. Um, and, you know, it, it is a veteran team, but it's a team without Antisha Brown. And she, she's just a tremendous, tremendous leader. So we miss that leadership. Now, I've challenged our seniors, and I think they'll step up. Our seniors have to take this team over. And Bryce and Khadijah and Alexa are very capable of doing that. Uh, they're, they're very good seniors, and those guys have been through everything. They've been through the good seasons. They've been through the bad seasons. And they've helped build this program to where it is today. So they'll step up. They'll take over. Uh, they'll do what's what's necessary to help this team. And, and, you know, that was probably hindsight. You know, we'll see down the road, probably a good wake-up call for us. And, again, I give all the credit in the world to New Mexico State. They did a terrific job. I'm curious about the, the four court. You had two of the exhibition, the two radios you came with the four court. Uh-huh. Um, is there any, anything feels different? Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I really do. I think it's a, it's a great way for uh, – uh, for to play basketball, I I, I really like it. I, I'm glad it, I'm glad it went back. What do you expect to see out of Sac State? Man, as much shots as possible. They'll they'll try to shoot about 90 times plus. Um, you know they want as many possessions as possible. They want to shoot more threes than you shoot twos. Um, they want to run and press and jump and trap in the half court so they can just get possession of the basketball again. They'll give up layups to go down and shoot threes, and they're very good at it. So um, it's a lot like playing San Jose State. They, wanna, they want the, the score to be in the 80s and 90s, and they want to rush you into taking bad shots and taking you out of stuff that you normally don't do. Uh, and we have to limit possessions. Uh, even if we slow the game down, and that's fine. We have to get the ball inside, which we're going to be taller at, whether they play man or zone. And we have to be able to – to play three on twos, two on one situation, so we can score. So they must play a lot of girls if they make so many fouls and have so many turnovers and put so much yep. pressure. They must play tons of girls. Yeah, they play 14. Oh, they and they'll sub five at a time. Huh. Uh, Scheduling wise, uh, you guys play at one. There's yes. A ball game going on at three yep. What would you say to fans to, hey, come out and. Hey, play make play it a Lobo day. day. I mean, you know, you got the game at one here, and, you know, you got great basketball in the pit. Head over to uh, the football stadium, you know, watch the Lobos beat Colorado State. And, uh, you know, just make it a great Lobo day. And then I think the men, what time do the men play? What time? P.M. So then you can make it a Lobo day at night. And then you go home and get a little nap in, and then you go find your favorite place and watch the men beat USC. And I think that's a great Lobo day. I really do. Coach, I know you're, you're really proud of where you're from, and you always support everything that's going on. Just talk about all the positive things the city's had this last week. No, oh, I mean, are you kidding me? It's been, it's been unbelievable since some tragedies have hit, have hit this city. And, you know, again, law enforcement needs to know that we support them 100%. There's no question. Um, you know, with – with everything happening and then, you know, football doing what they're doing and, and being bowl eligible and, and 
possibly get into the Mountain West Conference Championship game. Um, you know, Holly Holm, that was probably the biggest thing, I think, ever. I mean, I've lived here almost my entire life, and that's probably been one of the biggest things ever. And I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge Holly Holm fan. I always have been, even when she in her boxing days saw a few fights as, at Isleta. And uh, that was, I mean, I thought, I thought there was an earthquake just in Albuquerque when she knocked her out because I know people across the state were just, I mean, it was a great, great thing. Um, and, you know, I think, you know, the men start 3-0. Uh, you know, they have a they have a very good team. I mean, people are going to sleep on them, and they're pretty good. And, uh, you know, I just think there's some really good things happening across uh, the state of New Mexico and Albuquerque, and, and uh, we need to lift each other up, and, and people need to understand that we have to support each other. You can talk about that. <coughs> your passion for the city and local community. <coughs> Where does that come from? I mean, what about – it's growing up here. I mean, I grew up here. I, you know, I grew up in Los Alamos. I <clears throat> went to high school here. I mean, I, you know, when you're from here, it's just different. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just nothing else is better. I mean, I've lived in San Diego. I've lived, you know, in some pretty cool places. Nothing else is better than growing up in New Mexico. And there's no better city. There's no better state. Uh, there's no better place to live. And you know, I just, I, I have a passion always for the people here and and what they do and when something happens you know we all have to stick together and and make sure that we support each other and that's the bottom line you know it, it really is and and i mean hopefully people will follow suit how anxious are your girls to just get back on the floor and kind of get that taste out? yeah i think they're pretty upset I, I think they are i mean i know i know i am yeah and and you got to be careful with that obviously but uh you know it, it just wasn't uh what you know we uh we want to do as a basketball team you know we 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 uh we have to get better i think they're pretty anxious i know they're pretty upset about the way they played uh i know they feel that they can play better and the only time you can get it done is the next game you have to put that past and the only time you can do something about it is, is the next time you play and we prepared we prepared well i think they're in a great frame of mind and, uh, and again, you're going to have losses like that. You don't want too many. I remember Coach Flanagan taught me one time. He's like, you know, you learn from losses, but you don't need that many lessons. And, uh, you know, it was a great saying by him. But, you know, I thought after the Houston Baptist game, there was something off. I, I didn't I, – I was a little concerned going into New Mexico State and how good they were. And, and uh, you know, we've addressed some things, and I think uh, they're ready to go and play. Anything else? Awesome. Thanks, you guys. I'm going to go get our